Hey guys, Mr. Happy here, and welcome to Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn 101. This is episode 15, and today we are going to talk about the monk job. Keep in mind, this is all beta phase 3 content, so this was all subject to change, including the numbers and the abilities themselves. However, we can pretty much expect these will be the abilities in the game, since, you know, phase 3 is kind of right before phase 4. They can't really make these major decisions to change abilities right now, so let's just expect them to be like that for now. Let's, shall we? These are also not all the abilities that we can expect Monk to have. There, They said there's going to be a few more, but we won't see those to release, so let's just deal with what we got now. Before I start this video, let me just say... Uh, this video is in no way a breach of the non-disclosure agreement currently in place for Final Fantasy XIV and Realm of Born. We are not allowed to use audio or video, so I will be using screenshots to get my point across. So let's just jump right in, shall we? Let me change my screen region. Mm-hmm. There, there we go. Get myself out of the way. I'm going to chill in a little bit in the bottom left corner. But uh, anyway, as you can see here, we have the actions and traits menu. Excuse me if I'm slurring a little bit. It's been uh, a long night. Uh, it's almost 7 in the morning right now. And... Uh, as you can see, we have the uh, job window. We get five abilities right now. So uh, as you can see, you have action traits. Those are your abilities and your passives for your class. And now you have job uh, for your trait. If you don't know how to equip the job, uh, the job crystal, go over to uh, episode 11, and uh, you'll see I explain it in a quick three-minute video how to do that. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. I didn't even read these abilities before starting this video, so it's going to be a learning experience for me too. So first we have Rock Breaker. It's instant cast. It's got a range of five yards, a radius of five yards, so we can guess it's AOE. And it's got a recast of what looks like the global cooldown uh, with the uh, skill speed in place right there, <clears throat> and it costs 100 TP out of a th 120 TP out of a thousand. It delivers an attack with a potency of 130 to all enemies in a cone before you. So in a cone in front of you, deals a bunch of damage. So like in an area in front of you, just imagine a cone like that. That's what it does. Um, its duration is 18 seconds. And it can only be used in Corel form. See, it's weird that it told us the duration before telling us what it actually does. I think that might be a little bit of a bug. Um, unless it, well, unless you do the attack for 18 seconds, that would be crazy. Um, its additional effect is it changes your form to uh, Opo Opo. And uh, that lasts for 10 seconds. And if you watched my previous uh, class, um, you know, uh, how the Pugilist works, I would go check that out too. Because I explain how the form changes work there and everything. It also grants you Greased Lightning, which is a big deal. Because that means that you now have multiple abilities that can stack your greased lightning stacks, which is really cool because that means that this move is completely a is as viable in an AOE situation as the other move that applies greased lightning. So that's really good. This is the on par with snap punch. Greased lightning is a stacking buff that gives you increased damage and attack speed. So without further ado, let's move on to the next ability. Next we have Shoulder Tackle. Rushes to the target and delivers an attack with a potency of 100. Must be more than 10 Yalms from target to execute. It also stuns for 2 seconds. So this is a really good way, this is a really good PvP ability. It's a good gap closer. On a, it's on a pretty long cooldown, 1.5 minutes. But if it was any longer, it would probably be really OP. And it also cannot be executed while bound, so you can stop people from doing this with abilities like Freeze. And, uh, you know, definitely a balanced ability that's also really handy, especially in PvE and PvP. Next we have Fist of Fire. Uh, it lasts until it's uh, reused and increases the damage you deal by 10%, which is a big deal, guys. And it cannot be executed at the same time as Fist of Earth or Fist of Wind, which each have their own abilities. Again, go back to the Pugilist video and you'll see my explanation on those. And it shares a recast with both of those. Next ability is One. Now, I want to say it's supposed to be inch punch because that's a one inch punch is like a faint it's like a famous martial arts move a one inch punch i don't know maybe it's a misspelling we're gonna call it one inch punch for now anyway it's instant it's a instant cast it, it's uh, on the global cooldown and it's got a tp cost of 120 it delivers an attack with a po with a potency of 80 which is pretty low and it can only be executed in raptor form which i believe is the second form however it removes a beneficial status from the target so it dispels like a, a positive ability that they have, like if they have an attack boost that can be dispelled, it'll dispel it. And it changes your form to Corel, you have 10 seconds to use it. Pretty basic. Nice ability, especially for PvP, people are going to be spamming this when they get into Raptor form, definitely. Finally, we have the final ability, Dragon Kick, which is instant cast, it sits on the global cooldown, and it only costs 60 TP, that's not a lot, guys. Uh, it delivers an attack with a potency of 100, but 150 when delivered from the target's flank. That means on their sides, not behind or in front, it means when you're on either their left or right 
right side, it deals bonus damage. If you're in opal, opal form, when you use it, it reduces the target's blunt resistance by 10%, which means that essentially everyone who deals damage with blunt weapons, which I believe is currently only uh, maybe monks and mages if they hit with their staffs physically. But uh, So basically, it's a 10% boost to damage for all the monks in your group. So only one monk really needs to be using this. Unless it stacks, that would be awesome. And it uh, changes you to the Raptor form, which is really cool because it lets you start the combo all over again, and that uh, re resistance uh, reduction lasts 15 seconds. So those are all five abilities that are currently available for monk. Uh, a lot of people are probably expecting to see 100 fists, but for balance purposes, I'm pretty sure 100 fists was taken out of the game. It, it just makes sense that, uh, that some that a class doesn't get this crazy auto attack timer that just makes them have zero timers between their auto attacks. That would just give them a huge DPS advantage over everybody else. So I'm really glad they took that ability out, although it has some nostalgic value in my heart. Anyway, if you found this video helpful, please like, favorite, subscribe, and share, especially if you have a friend who uh, is looking forward to Monk, but he doesn't really know what to expect when he goes from Pugilist to Monk. He only knows how the form changes. Kind of worked a little bit, but not too much. This will give him a better oversight of what he is in store for. Um, also, go over to my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash mrhappy1227 the link is in the description below you can go there, ask me questions, request videos for information that you need or you can even just ask me the question and I'll answer it on the spot you know, I like to do that, I really do try to get to all of them that I can and trust me, ask anybody there, I usually get back to everybody at some point or another so anyway, thank you for watching uh, stay tuned because we have the rest of the jobs coming plus plenty more this weekend